this film is to give you a chance to look at different ways of painting in the town and the country. Um, and we'll use different mediums and different techniques to do that. We'll, we'll paint figures and we'll uh, paint all sorts of different scenes. Peter, tell us something about that. Well, let me show you just a couple here. We're going to do 18 or 19 paintings and we'll show a greater variety of subjects as we can. We did enjoy doing those, didn't we, Peter? Well, yes, it was very enjoyable, Pete. And uh, some of them more especially, I think particularly for me, that very lively scene in the market where we've used acrylic inks. I certainly love doing that one. But uh, several of the paintings are great to do. Is there anything that uh, you particularly like, Pete? I really enjoy doing the acrylic one of the goldfinches. Um, it was painstaking and some of the painting of the thistles yeah, at the end, yeah. but it was well worthwhile. And, and, and another part of it was that it sold immediately after being finished by a friend in the village who, who is a bird watcher and loves nature. So uh, it was well appreciated as well in that point of view. That was good, wasn't it? Well, I think we're all three of us agreed then that uh, we should enjoy this film and get a lot from it. We certainly did. And uh, let's get on with it now and get into the film. It's all clearly menued into different sections. Okay then, both of you, is that uh, what we I'll leave with you as well, and uh, we'll let Pete deal with you from now on. Let's get on with these paintings. Right, we'd better get on now then, and I'll say goodbye. Right then, let's go get on with some painting, and I hope you do enjoy these. There are so many sources for abstract painting, but one of the best I've found is simply looking at reflections in windows. And one of the best places to find windows, of course, is in towns and cities. So let's take one of those rather fun shots, this one of the models in the window, and play with it and experiment with mixed media, with oil pastels and with oil paint and with gold leaf. I'm going to attempt a mixed media work now, rather fun. We're going to try using oil pastels. We haven't done much with the floor, so on it. I'm going to start off with some gold leafing. Um, I have metallic foil as well, but the gold leafing is all I'm going to need for this. And first of all, put a base coat of red on and lay the gold leafing over. First putting on the base coat and then the glue. And when the glue is tacky, we apply the gold leafing with a bristle brush, a badger hair brush. And uh, then we can paint over it with oil-based paints. I'm going to experiment with these oil pastels uh, over that as well and various techniques and methods we can use with those. So we'll start off with the gold leafing then, apply the red base coat, let that dry and then we can put the glue on and put those areas I'm in. I'm going to be working pastels all over it, I don't have to worry too much about little bits being left. So very simply just painting in some of these shapes to get the base coat for the gold. I want to make more of this decoration and design and enhance that this painting. Yeah, the coat is now dry. We could put a bit more on, but I'm not worried about it. Um, so it's now time to put some of the special glue on. A bit like PVA glue in that. It looks white at first. We just put it on where we want the gold to go, which will mean it will brush off anywhere else. We're not too worried because we're going to work over a lot of this with the oil paints and the oil pastels anyway. It all gets used up in the end. We're going to see if we can get some of these effects that we want. I'm also going to have a little lighter here because pastels, these oil pastels, should actually melt a bit. So for instance, we can just place them onto the canvas like this. But I should actually be able to soften it slightly with the heat. Look how that goes on much more thickly and even actually blend it on the... There's all sorts of fun effects we can do yet. Can't really go wrong because if we go back on it, we can work on it again. And again, you can see how rapidly one can work without having to do too many details, just indicators, just knowing when to stop, isn't it? Well, personally, I'd say we're about there now, so I won't do much more. Just tidy a few loose ends. It's quite a fun piece, as you can see.
This time we're going to do one of the market scenes and we're going to use the acrylic inks. We may use some pastel afterwards if we really need to, but I'm hoping to do most of it really enjoying these really vibrant bright colours of the inks, working them wet into wet as a watercolour and gradually working them up in detail. And if I need to, I'll use a bit of pastel at the end, but we'll see. These FW acrylic inks are uh, waterproof once they're dry. So whilst we want to work wet into wet, we have to keep them wet. And we may need to use a diffuser or spray for that. Something, for instance, like this, which you can spray by just pressing it. I'm going to work with my over mop at first. And uh, keep my water fairly close by. Still, as a watercolour, we're going to use the, the lightest colours first. Let's look at this lady here. With the acrylic inks, if we use them thinner, they'll become transparent. So let's have a look at wetting the whole of this lady's coat, just to paint it bit by bit, with a very thin coat of turquoise first of all. And I'm going to drop in a little red into that, very thinly. You see how strong this stuff is, it's very, very vibrant. Brush that right out using a rough paper, the, the 300 pound uh, rough again, for this one. Now if you find it bleeds too much, then lift it out. Just lift it out like that around there. Black, where are they? It's by painting all these little marks, dots and dashes, and uh, shapes approximately where they are. I can bring out a feeling of a busy jumbled market. That, right, this painting could be left as it is now, nice and loose and, and fluid. But I'm going to do another experiment, take it a bit further. Um, because it's acrylic inks and because they're opaque, um, I'm going to now take some white acrylic paint and mix some of the inks with it and just touch up some of the lighter areas for fun, just to see how it goes. Because I think we can take it a stage further. I don't want to overdo it, but I would like to just pull some of the, uh, the colours out here and see what can be done. Thank you. 